so today we are going to see what is layouts sub layouts and renderings how to code to support uh, experience uh, editor what are the what is the difference between shared and final layout so welcome to my channel my site code diaries i am chitendra uh, i am from mumbai if you like my videos please subscribe to the channel click on the bell icons to get the latest update so today's topic very straightforward and simple one presentation details layout sub layouts and rendering so let's start so let's start layouts so in the dotnet uh, and the site code you have to for the layouts you have to define the uh, code in the dotnet and the site definition layout definition in the site code so how it is done so if you see the code part code you will have this kind of a html or basically say layouts as i said earlier in the video that layout is the scaffolding of your website so depending on your scaffolding you will create the html and wherever the component should be uh, displayed there we will add the placeholders okay so the code uh, somewhat look like this whereas uh, what is the layout file that is the chtml file okay inside the view or shared okay so layout is nothing but a chtml file inside the views and share folder so this is the similar concept which you have master pages in the sp.net and the layout in the mvc okay and then when you talk about the placeholder placeholder is, uh, is as name suggests it's a placeholder of the content which will be replaced by the component okay so this play ph header will be replaced by the any component on the uh, on this place okay again this placeholder is a similar concept what you use in asp.net as a okay placeholder you are in asp.net also we have a placeholder and also we have a partial rendering in mvc if you see the site code the site uh, code uh, definition uh, site definition uh, sorry uh, in the site code layout definition you have a site code node and you have the layout node so in there you can add the layouts okay so if you uh if you right click the layout folder you will have this option where you can add the layout okay layout is a template okay in that template you will see there are the three fields there path model and area so path is basically specifies what is the physical path of the chtml file so whatever in dot net whatever chtml file which you have created that path we will specify here and whereas the model is specifies the model of that view okay if you are using a model then you should specify that an area is specific mvc area so this is how you define the site definition uh, layout definition okay uh, remember uh, there is only one layout per page per device so on one device one page uh, you will have only one layout so you have to define that way renderings or sub layout uh, in the uh, in the layout we have a two parts right in the code and the uh, the site def site code definition okay so in the for the rendering and sub layout also we have to define it two places one is your dot net code and another another is your design element that will be in the site code okay so code will, will look some like something like this it is also a view okay so in if you consider the mvc.net uh, where you create a partial view similarly you create a view here or in the uh, web forms you create the uh, user control that is uh, that is similarly you create it here in the uh, site for web forms okay then uh, as for the site definition in the layout uh, not not site definition in the in the site core for the uh, the layout definition or sub layout definition you have a folders rendering and sub layout in the layouts okay so if you right click it will give you these many options so these are the different type of a uh, renderings okay we will see that later now let's see the difference between the sub layout and the renderings okay uh, first of all both are the uh, provide the html structure to the component okay or structure of your a, a, a page but the major difference is sub layout is used for a web form web forms are now a legacy like you might be having a legacy website there you might be using the web form so mostly you have the uh, mvc only so for rendering it is for the both web forms as well as the mvc you can use the renderings sub layouts you will have the uh, uh, definition item that is this site core one and plus your code will be in the access control whereas you are uh, in the entering your site def your definition item will be there plus your html code okay um, let's see what are the different rendering types we have there are two major uh, rendering types first is the view rendering 
and second is the controller rendering so what is view rendering this rendering type is a razor view basically it is a view only view okay uh, view only okay sidecore so provides a default controller and model for the view okay so you can have a default model for the view you can customize the model by changing the mvc.get model pipeline use this when you want to render an item contained that does not require any significant business logic or presentation logic so there is no business logic then we can simply use the view rendering whereas the controller rendering is a for this rendering type you supply the controller model and view so it is basically a, a complete mvc uh, kind of a, a view okay where we have a controller also you have a model also you have view also you specify in the rendering definition item what action side code take to render the component use this to render content that relies on the external data or require significant business or a presentation logic so simple uh, when to use the view rendering controller rendering uh, if you have a if you have a business logic then we should go for a control rendering and if there is no business logic it's simply displaying the data then we should go for the view rendering okay other than this i think 99% of our time we will be using these two rendering calls only but other than this we have a different other renderings also first is a item rendering this rendering type request that contain render, renders itself so item itself get rendered the content has information about how it renders okay so then you have a method rendering this rendering type types outputs the return value of a call to a static method okay uh, then you have a url rendering so this can be url rendering can be used to replace the iframe so this rendering types of renderings response of a http get request onto the current page so you can use it if you need the screen scrap html from another system so if there is another system from where you need the html like iframe view we are we are using right so that kind of functionality then you can go for the url rendering xslt rendering it is basically a uh, what you say a replace uh, Uh, is alternative for the view uh, view rendering okay xslt is basically a legacy kind of a thing where you, in in a legacy website which we do have a xslt component which is used okay so if you do not want to replace as xslt component then you can use the xslt rendering this is also uh, rare rarely used so all these ports are very rarely used you hardly see anything till now i have never used anything xslt i do use use term where but others i don't think i have used till now okay so main important thing is the view rendering and the controller rendering if you if you do not have any business logic go for a view rendering if you have a lot business logic then go for a controller uh, controller rendering more about presentation details okay so if you go to the presentation detail you will have a share layout and final layout here okay so you can define a share layout and finally but what is it is okay share layout is basically stores a presentation detail which is shared across the languages so it is common for all the languages okay um, whereas store pre uh, whereas the final layout is the presentation details about to that language in that version only okay so what i mean is by that version so if you have a uh, you created a layout, uh, layout okay which is at the standard in the standard standard values then it will be it will be rendered okay it is be rendered for all the item but if you go on a specific uh, item and you change that layout then that will be come into the final layout okay so that will changes will be apply only on the that item only okay and that will be only for that version okay that language version so that is the difference between the shared layout and final layout okay uh, you can define the devices also in the presentation this right you see here default print those are the different devices so you can define your uh, devices i think in last video we already seen how the devices are uh, defined okay then uh, placeholder settings okay so placeholder settings are used if you want to restrict the someone to add a renderings on your specific part of the page of a expense editor so we will see a separate video on the placeholder maybe the next video only we will see this so i'm not uh, going in detail here so if you see uh, the layout details okay in the device editor you have a layout so here you can pick the layout so whatever the layout you want to pick you can pick here then in the second tab is a control so here in the controls you can define the different controls which you want to uh, Uh, to display on the uh, the page okay so this is a presentation design this main main slash center column main center column contain that is your basically the placeholders okay in the placeholder settings you you will have a uh, name of the your uh, placeholder key of your placeholder and allow controls okay so as i said earlier that we will be uh, use seeing the more details about the placeholder in the next video okay
so this is how the your presentation details are defined so okay so you have a shared layout final layout if you define it at the uh, standard item or standard uh, values level it will be a uh, shared uh, across your languages if you go on change in, in your uh, item level that will be your final layout okay then you can define the devices for your presentation you can define the layout which should be used you can add the controls in that level right? you can specify which uh, placeholder can be used for that layer that uh, uh, lay, uh, so rendering okay and then uh, you can have a placeholder sending where you define what are the renderings which can be allowed on that uh, placeholder okay we'll see placeholder setting in the next video so i'm not going in detail in that part there's something called a dynamic placeholder okay which also allows you to add the uh, placeholder as uh, in the several times okay again placeholder is the next uh, video topic now how to support experience editor so in you must be knowing now that in sitecore there are the two places where the user can uh, user can edit the content or edit, you can define your uh, site site uh, site content okay so in if you consider a site content it does it also defines your presentation also so this should can be done at the content editor also in the experience editor so when you are coding you have to make sure that whatever code you are doing it is supported to the experience editor how we can do that okay so first thing is always use the site code control so site code uh, provides you the their controls okay so use those controls only in the code okay there's something like this where you have a field render you have a uh, sc text field for the text one uh, you can have the, the those are the uh, open, first two are the code for the web forms okay and then you have the code for the uh, uh, mvc okay then uh, second thing is always follow the component based development approach so define your component not the pages okay so um, follow the component based development we already seen what is component based development in the last video so always follow the component based development always create a dynamic rendering don't write a static code in the rendering so that will not allow the content editor to change anything so always create a dynamic rendering then use a placeholder setting okay placeholder setting will help uh, uh, help content editor to, to define the complete page uh, in the presentation in the uh, experience editor okay if you have any question you can email me on my email address this is my email address uh, you can contact to me on linkedin this is my linkedin uh, id if you like my video please like on it please uh, share my video uh, please provide your feedback by provide giving the comments Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, the if you subscribe, it will motivate me to do more of such videos. Please click on bell icons to get the notifications. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.